pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Sewell. Here. Reister. Here. Lawson. Here. Buns. Present. Wyatt. Here. I have a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, consent agenda, I'll remove the Blackhawk insurance since we've got that as a resolution later on. Um, anything else to remove? Or if not, I'll accept the motion to approve. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, let's see here. Uh, got a proclamation to read for the National Police Week of 2021, which is May 9th through May 16th, 2021. Whereas the Congress and the President of the United States have designated May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day and the week in which it falls as Police Week. And whereas the members of the Law Enforcement Agency of the City of Hudson, Iowa play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the citizens of Hudson. And whereas it is important that all citizens know and understand the problems, duties, and responsibilities of their police department that members of our police department recognize their duty to serve the people by safeguarding life and property, by protecting them against violence and disorder, and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression and intimidation. And whereas the police department of Hudson has grown to be a modern and scientific law enforcement agency which unceasingly provides a vital public service. Now therefore I, George Wessel, by the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Hudson, call upon all citizens of Hudson and all patriotic, civic, and educational organizations to observe the week of May 9th through May 16th as Police Week with appropriate ceremonies in which all of our citizens may join in commemorating police officers, past and present, who by their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities have rendered a dedicated service to their communities, and in doing so have established for themselves an enviable and enduring reputation for preserving the rights and security of all citizens. I further call upon all citizens of Hudson to observe Friday, May 15th, 2020, as Peace Officers Memorial Day, in honor of those peace, peace officers who, through their courageous deeds, have lost their lives or become disabled in the performance of duty. In witness thereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Hudson to be affixed this 26th day of April, 2021. And my personal thanks to all the police officers that we have, as well as those who have been with us in the past. Absolutely. Uh, committee reports and recommendations. Matt. So I'm always befuddled by this because we have copious minutes that are carefully taken. <laughs> and, and you all can read. <laughs> um, I'll just breeze through a couple of things that we talked about. The brief is quite fun. Yeah. Um, we got some quotes from Standard Golf about some stuff related to the golf course. Uh, a quote from Professional Lawn Care was presented. There's a proposal from Hudson, Hudson Plumbing and Heating for ditch work on Butterfield. Um, then we had several quotes for street work, for some asphalt work, for some cracked ceiling, and our GIS, our GIS mapping system needs updated. Several of those items are going to be on the agenda later on, so we can talk more about that later. Thanks. This is a long meeting. Yeah. We earned our pay. Then. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's about an hour, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any questions for Matt? <coughs> Thanks, Matt. Uh, now, I'll open the public hearing regarding an amendment of the annual budget to the fiscal year ending June 20th, 21, 2021. Uh, any written comments, Katie? No. Uh, any oral comments? If not, I will close the public hearing. General Government. Hudson City Council maintains the right to waive the first and second readings of the ordinances presented and may pass the third and final reading of the same ordinance within the same council meeting. Item A, discussion action to approve the second reading of Ordinance 842, an ordinance to amend the Hudson City Code 2017, Chapter 106, collection of solid waste, amending the following language, which is collection fee, and moving it to $14, effective July 1st. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion? 
Roll call. Lawson. Aye. Reister. Aye. Buns. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Wyatt. Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Item B, discussion action to approve resolution 2767, a resolution approving an amendment of the annual budget for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2021. This is what we just had the public hearing about and which Christy had attached to the budget as well as detailed descriptions on why the changes. So moved. Second. Moved. Discussion? Roll call. Wyatt. Aye. Buns. Aye. Reister. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Lawson. Aye. Motion carries 5-0. Uh, discussion action to approve resolution 2768, a resolution for approval of road closures for the Hudson Chamber Spring Appreciation Dinner, and that will be from 4 to 6 p.m. on Friday, May 14th on 1st Street between Washington and Jefferson Streets. So moved. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Sewell. Aye. Wyatt. Aye. Lawson. Aye. Reister. Aye. Buns. Aye. Motion carries 5 0. If anybody on the council would like to come assist with that, write down that date, please. May 14th, right? It's fun day. Yep. Free food. Four to six. Four to six. Free dinner for anybody in town. Huh? I'm bored. Whatever. I am bored. I'm Item D Discussion Action to Approve Resolution 2769, a resolution for approval of the seal coating and street repairs bids for the 2021 season. As Matt had referenced, it was extensive discussion, decision-making for the recommendations <coughs> from the Public Works Committee. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion. Okay. I have a quick question. Sure. Are we redoing, so this year on the schedule is to dig up and redo Washington Street from 2nd Street towards the school, correct? Did we do that last year? Did Not we yet. That? Not, yet. Not yet. We're trying to see if we can get some federal funding. Yeah, that, that, the Washington Street is considered a collector. Because it's considered a collector, we found out through discussions, Christy and I with Intercog, that this could qualify for 80% money if we can get into the timing of it. So we are going to be applying this next year to get into that log, which might be you know, five years out before it comes through. It's going to get abandoned this year. It's going to get sealed COVID. <clears throat> so here's my question. And back six years ago when I was on the Public Works Committee, we kind of did, we're trying to get to a point like we are with rotation of vehicles, that there's about 10 miles of streets in town and trying to do a mile of road each year and having that money set aside. Are we still looking at some process like that to be updating roads so that there's a a schedule and actual funds put aside each year to continue doing that? Yes, right now we Rick spent the money to have the whole town flow tested for water mains. So we're trying to coordinate water main replacement and street replacement all in one. Which obviously makes sense if you're yeah, going to dig up the street the to do all yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, especially with and Washington Right now street. we've kind of got, I would say, four sections of road itemized that we'd like to see done in the next couple of years. Okay. Um, one being Wood Street, one being Washington, one being First Street, and one being Sunset. Okay. Those are the main ones that need updating with water main and street repair. So, so um, one of the things that I would love to see out just for public information wise mm -hmm. is that people ask me all the time, when is our street going to get done? I don't know. You know, so if we can continue to, to kind of work on a schedule of that and say, because we know with DOT roads, they do put out that schedule. Right. Like this is on the calendar for the next, for year 24 and 25 or whatever the case may be, something like that. If we could work towards that committee with getting that type of schedule and then putting it out to the public, I think that would be a big way, to, you know, help with some of that. Well, and also, it, we've gotten better information as far as the cost of some of these streets. Absolutely. Having done uh, Thelma, having put in the right. uh, Pirate Drive, we got a better idea, and we've had initial bids even for asphalting Ranchero. Right. So as we've got some of those numbers, I think Jake now has got, between Jake and Chrissy can sit down and see right. what the numbers are coming through. We can project out what's the local option tax, what's the road use tax, exactly. what's all the other stuff, and try to get that really figured out over the next year so that next year's budget. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so that we can kind of get through. on that schedule. Because yeah. it would be nice if we can, sure. you know, because obviously if you redo a whole whatever and right. do all the infrastructure in 10 years, looking at recoding mm -hmm. is not as expensive as doing all the infrastructure. Which if we, we keep doing concrete like we did on Thelma, right. that you're looking at 30 years Hopefully. before we got to touch it again. So hopefully, yes. Yeah, and well, I, and so that's, I, I, interestingly, 
Uh, I had forgotten how long Glenn with Chase has been there. My addition? 92? 90 90 91. Went in. So that's been there 30 years. So now we know what 30 years of concrete. Is right. it in beautiful shape? No. Because the entrance that we're going into, yeah, that part, of, part of this out. is asphalting the entrance, sure. which is where the big stuff is, and then doing some cracked ceiling and spots. Right. But it gives us an idea. Yeah, that's, that, that cement is solid enough that it could take an asphalting and last another 15 years. But right. I, I agree with you. Uh, yeah, because you do, especially after we do seal coating and stuff, right. you get questions all over oh, yeah. the place about why are we just yeah. putting gravel down and why are we not doing this. And I know people are upset with the seal coating, but it comes down to the cost and Absolutely. the road work we got to do. Yeah. Yep. That's almost our only option. Absolutely makes sense. So. And the other thing to look at, too, eventually, is we need to look at some of the alleyways and how they're I want to start flows. Because I know the one, approaches. So well, and even the, the total alley between third and second has been raised up so much that all those houses are getting washed out now down in that's, that. That's happening on the alley in the back of me, too. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, what we need to do well, after, once we get to that point. But I don't want to wait 10 years to do right. it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I think Eddie Poppy came maybe when he I did. was on Public Works. Because they had to, that huge washout back there yeah. between Poppy's house and, and the And that's one. something we may need to even take a look at is, like, towns of our sizes, how many are maintaining the alleys? Is that, a that makes me think about, uh, so there's there's some efforts in Cedar Falls to do some things with alleys using like the, I don't know what it's the proper word, but basically with bricks or something Somewhat. that makes it more permeable. Permeable papers. And helps cut down um, the type of mm -hmm. things that you don't want in Black Hawk Creek and such. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, I'm thinking that there's probably some grant stuff going on there, maybe. I don't know. I wonder if the city could tap into anything. Well, you I also... I find a thing that's yeah. kind of in charge of that project and let you know. That'd be awesome. But yeah. You also may have an opportunity for some of the neighbors that have their properties to do some buy-ins with some of that, too, because they've also, I mean, most of them have paid for part of it to be either, you know, re-graveled or mm -hmm. whatever, that that's going to be a lot cheaper than doing some of that. Not that... I, Putting that in anybody's no, I think wallet. a lot of them. I mean, more gravel gets added to it and raises up. Obviously, a lot of it could probably be shaved down, right. at least seal coated. You get a hard surface on them, so we don't have to continue to bring gravel in. Right, because I know that one last year they brought in gravel, and mm -hmm. my dad was like, "Take that out of there! It's just gonna wash all the way down in my yard because everything comes straight down that way now." Well, and sometimes when you plow, we end up at you know, right. gravel like that at the back of our property there, yeah. so in the alley. Just something to be aware of that that would be something neat, mm -hmm. or not neat, that should be something that should be coming from committee eventually to see just what that calendar looks like. Any other discussion? Roll call. Lawson. Good discussion. Brewster. Aye. Wyatt. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Buns. Aye. Motion carries 5-0. Mm. The patchwork that you've done out You're on e. Ranchero did look really good last time I was out there. Just yeah, there's like one spot that's really good. It bubbled back up. Yeah. But yeah. Matt, mm -hmm. Matt only goes 25 mile an hour, so he can go around all of that. He goes up the hill, he doesn't go down through that hole. <laughs> Never does 26 even. Item E, you said? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Item E, discussion action to approve resolution 2770, <coughs> resolution for approval of insurance coverage proposal for the city of Hudson, Iowa. And that includes the referenced eighty thousand one oh eleven dollar payment for the next year's contract. So, so hear a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion. <coughs> Roll call. Buns. Aye. Lawson. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Wyatt. Aye. Reister. Aye. Motion carries five zero. Uh, item F, discussion action to approve resolution 2771, a resolution setting a public hearing to amend the Hudson City Code 2017, Chapter 62, General Traffic Regulation, Section 62.01, amending the following language, violation of regulations relating to no insurance, public hearing to be held May 10th, 2021. Second to it. Second. Um, discussion? This is basically to add a no insurance clause into our own code so that when we're doing city tickets, we can ticket somebody for it. Right? Yes, okay. correct. I didn't know that was gavel worthy. I didn't know that either. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call. Wyatt. Hi. Sewell. 
Is she frozen? Sewell? Yep. Buns? Aye. Greaster? Aye. Lawson? Aye. Passes 4 0. Yeah. <laughs> four and a half? Uh, she'll let you know later. Didn't she second it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, item G. The question action to approve resolution 2772. Resolution setting a public hearing regarding the approval of tax exemption under the Urban Revitalization Eric Plan for industrial use in accordance with the Hudson Code of Ordinances, Section 807, public hearing to be held on May 10th, 2021. Chrissy, is this on the Winger <coughs> properties or is this on the RG yes. Byers? Yes, no, this is on it's the on Winger. Winger. Yeah. Yeah, Isn't it Nick asking. Winger? No. So, so motion to approve? Set so public hearing? So Second. Second. A discussion? A roll call. Reister, Aye. Buns, Aye. Lawson, Aye. Wyatt, 4-0. There's a lot of new building out there, right? Yes. Um, yeah, that's what this is the two buildings that were sold. Yeah, this is for um, the first building as you come in. The business right. condos that are on, that are south of Dr. Power Sports. But they're adding oh, on yeah. There, Yeah, there's going to eventually be five total buildings. Okay. And so there's... There, this is a tax exemption for three of the units that are the buildings that are already there. Yeah. Uh, item H, discussion action to approve resolution 2773, a resolution for approval to provide a donation to Hudson Days. Chrissy, what was the amount <coughs> we uh, had committed two years ago? 3500 3500 yes. So I'd be willing to take a uh, uh, motion. I make a motion we stay at 3500 Do I have a second? I'll second that. Discussion. The year before that it was 25, right? I'm pretty yes. sure. Yep. Just, yeah, just 2019 is up. when we went up to 3,500. And did we make a donation last year? No. Okay. I, I couldn't find anything from they last year. Some they didn't have They didn't have it. They didn't have it. So. Submitted, but we did not issue it because right. they canceled. Yeah. Right. So that's and, and there's a lot of, you know, we talk about this too, there's a lot of in kind donations. Right. We have overtime for police. We have Public right. works plus the we pay for all of the the dumpsters, the porta potties, yeah, all the that barricades and all that stuff, yeah, yeah. So. Yes. Um, item H, uh, Lost a little bit of the conversation, so we can go ahead and proceed. Okay, roll call. Wyatt. Aye. Buns. Aye. Reister. Aye. Lawson. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Motion carries 5 0. Uh, item I discussion action to approve resolution 2774, resolution for approval of employment for the city of Hudson, Iowa, for the position of summer baseball slash softball concession stand manager, the kids' adventure director, and the kids' adventure assistant. Director for summer of 2021, and Chrissy, I presume these are comparable to prior years. Yes. Yes. Motion. So moved. Discussion. I'll second it. Or did she? <coughs> say I think. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. Sorry. Um, they're still hiring some kids, some kids, right? Yes. So we are still hiring um, umpires, concession stand workers, and helpers for the kids' adventure. So if you know anybody who wants to make a little extra cash. Yeah. I've Put it out on Facebook, so we'll see. We've gotten a few, so yeah. Good kid for kid job for this yeah. one. Yeah. Roll call. Wyatt. Aye. Sewell. Aye. Lawson. Aye. Reister. Aye. Buns. Aye. Motion carries five zero. Uh, number of informational items in there. Reminder items. Regular scheduled meetings held at council chambers, except for electric board, and library board, public works committee, May twelfth at seven a.m. Mayor's Task Force, May 18th at 5 p.m. Personnel Admin, May 24th, 445. Public Safety, May 27th at 4. Next Council Meetings, May 10th and May 24th, both 21st. May 10th and 24th, 2021 at 6 p.m. Move to Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all. When we worked for the 